Hi lovelies, welcome. I'm so glad you could be with me today and I hope you're all doing really well. Today we're looking at the third party karmic um, partner situation with your person. What is their karmic partner teaching them? Okay, what shadows are they helping your person to, uh, like a triggering within your person uh, and uh, helping your person to heal from? Uh, so we'll have a look at what lessons they're bringing your person. And first up, we're going to see how they're feeling towards the karmic partner at this time and how they're feeling towards you. And then we'll get into the shadow stuff. I've got lots of cards here. Um, so basically, we've got the first reading, which is the little blue robin. And this is the divine journey tarot that I created. And we've got the second um, pile here, which is the universal Celtic tarot with the little seashell. And we've got the Mythic Tarot with the Clear Quartz Crystal. So just take a moment, put your person in mind, focus on the cards, and we will get started shortly, guys. Hi group one, welcome. Thank you for being with me today, guys. I hope you're doing well. I've got the little blue robin here for you and my Div divine journey tarot that I created. Um, all of my cards that you see are available for purchase at makeplayingcards.com. Um, let's have a look, okay? So we're going to see what what is your person's energy regarding the third party. Uh, the karmic partner, you know, it's, it is a third party, but this one is specifically to do with a karmic partner. Um, so what is their energy, oh my gosh, what's going on here, regarding the karmic partner, okay? So let's have a look. What is your person's energy? Uh, what am I doing? <laughs> I usually start with these first. Yeah, what is your person's energy regarding the karmic partner? Thank you, spirit. Uh, let's have a look here. So we've got worried. Feels like I'm carrying the weight of the world. Uh, freedom. I'm ready to break free. Look at that. Very interesting. So your person's ready to break free from this uh, relationship, this connection with the karmic because they feel like they're carrying the weight on their shoulders right now, the weight of the world, I should say, on their shoulders. They're worrying. Uh, they're not in a very nice free light energy and that's why they perhaps want to break free. Uh, so that's what they're feeling towards the karmic partner at this time because the sword of truth has come through. There's been an epiphany for your person. There has been... Uh, some clarity that has come through, okay? So interesting, fresh clarity and challenging times, okay? So it looks like they're coming forward. They want to speak their truth to the karmic partner and um, basically tell them, I want to break free. They want to get that sword and cut through the chains, okay? They want to, want to cut through the chains with the sword, uh, so they want a queen, like a, what am I saying, a clean cut in this, okay? They, they kind of like just want to break free like that, but maybe they can't. Maybe they can't just break free suddenly and quickly uh, from this. It might take some time. Uh, there might be a manipulation going on with the karmic. We'll have a look. What is the karmic doing? What is the karmic? What is the karmic's energy? What is their energy? They're guilty for something, riddled with guilt and shame. So maybe... Something they did has caused your person to open their mind wide open now and see something for what it truly is. And, and they're feeling quite guilty and ashamed for that. Um, yeah, they, they want to bring in this. Well, actually, when I see this, maybe there was some self-indulgence going on here. I know that's usually the Nine of Pentacles with that one, but I'm getting the Nine of Roses is that um, they actually, yes, that's what I'm getting. They might have been trying to pull the wool over your person's eyes, um, casting an illusion uh, as well. And they might have kept their options open in some ways too. Um, but I feel like, uh, I don't know why that's coming through. It's not even irrelevant to this particular card. Uh, but I do get that kind of feeling that they weren't being truthful and honest with your person. Um, and they, they might have taken this for granted, okay, with your person. Um they're hoping for a wish to come true now because it feels like maybe things have gone beyond. They can't be worked on now. 
Uh, maybe the damage has been done and they're just wishing now for a, a wish to come true. All right, so how is your person feeling towards you? So, oh, look, desire. I miss the way you taste those soft lips on my face, your warm embrace, everything you gave. So there's a desire for you. Um, group one, there's a desire from your person to you. Yes, look at this, trustworthy and dedicated. Now, that did come up reversed, but, you know, it doesn't really matter because I'm getting the same message anyway, that this is going to take some time. Maybe they want to come forward slowly, you know, towards you. Um, it could take a while. There might be a delay in doing that, in actually moving forward and, and letting their presence known into your life that they want this with you. Um, but I feel like, because this is the slowest night in the deck, this takes time and patience and it's methodical. Um, and it's the Virgo energy here too. And that's the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with these ones here. But what I get with this is that your person wants to come forward very slowly and assuredly. Like they want to make sure that there's something that they can um, show you that they're a trustworthy person. Um, they're dedicated. Yeah, look, seven pro of prosperity awaiting results. Could be an earth sign you're dealing with. It doesn't have to be. Uh, but basically is they're waiting for the right time to come in, I feel. So they're caught up in this. They want to break free. Their, their heart's not in it. Uh, they feel like the damage has been done. They're desiring you. Okay, they're desiring you. And what do they think that you want with them? So desperate, I can't do this anymore. So they might feel that you're in, in a desperate situation that you need to get out of also. And um, moving towards a karma future being reversed. So they might feel that you're lost at the moment, like you can't do something anymore. Maybe you can't do this relationship anymore. Maybe you can't jump in with them. That's why they might be taking things very slowly and trying to suss out where you're at with this um, but this is reversed as well so maybe they feel like at the moment you can't see them clearly you can't see a clear um, peaceful future with them at this stage because of where they're at because you might you know you might not know anything of what's going on over here and they know that you don't know uh, for some of you who don't know they will think you don't know so in their mind um, you don't see a future because they're with someone else so, on that note, let's get some cards because I've got heaps here. Oh my god, I've got heaps. What shadow is the karmic? Oh god, hang on. Bring it out in your person. That came out confusion. So, they keep your person confused. Maybe they gaslight your person. Um, because if there's been uh, infidelities or any kind of dishonesty here or deception, it's going to cause confusion because they might have been casting an illusion for some time. Aha, look at that, deception. So in some ways, like an addiction's here. So in some ways, someone's hiding an addiction, perhaps. Maybe that's your person, because I did say what shadows are they bringing out in your person. And there could have been something your person was turning to to deal with this situation. Um, or it could also represent that they have caused deception in the whole relationship, okay? Maybe they're addicted to something which has affected your person. So let's see what... What positives did they bring out in your person, okay, in, in the beginning? Teaching your person to be assertive, which is really good because it feels like maybe this person really uh, did, you know, rule the roost, take over, uh, doting. So they brought out a beautiful side to your person to be dedicated and doting to them and the relationship no matter what was going on. It feels like your person wanted to work hard at it, um, but has come to a realisation now that it's just not not going to work so love conquers all enduring loyalty eternal love lasting commitment I feel like as I said before your person will uh, hang in there like I feel like they've been trying to hang in there trying to love your person um, you know and I'm sorry love their karmic partner to the point where um, they're too loyal they're too loyal to this person even though they have treated them badly but it does feel like it has gotten to breaking point now okay so let's see I don't need to look at shadows and all that with you but I will look at because um, I just don't get that feeling of uh, do I need to do this I'm not sure uh, well I could see what shadows do they still need to work with with you okay we will look at that 
So they need to look at their awkwardness, okay, their awkward behavior when they're around you. Maybe they just can't get the words out. Maybe they can't express what they really want with something uh, here as well. And there's aggression. So maybe they, you know, in some ways your personalities might clash. In some ways they might uh, feel aggressive that they can't communicate something properly. Or maybe they're feeling aggressive towards themselves because they're awkward. What, uh, what positives do you bring out in your person? intelligent so you know it might be that you really um encourage them to get in their mind space uh to you might have really beautiful conversations with each other they're a very smart person they they love to talk and about certain things when you get them going with that they just are in their element truthful so you bring out honesty in your person and a gentleness that's really beautiful so it, it's really interesting because this person, the karmic partner, is causing them to hide their feelings or addictions or whatever might be going on there. So they're hiding and closing off to their karmic partner, whereas you'll bring out the truth. Okay, what else have I got here? Um, I'm just checking because I've got so many cards that I want to use today. <laughs> so we've got have faith. So we're being reversed. I don't normally read these reversed, but I, I got the message that your person's losing faith in this connection. With you, there are um, with you. There's inner child wounds that they need to heal. So maybe that's what is triggered within them. With you, is that there's still some inner child wounds to heal. So what is what does um, what are they surrendering to right now on their journey? Negative thinking. So they're trying to overcome that with their thoughts here. Um, have clear thinking okay so you have control over your thoughts when negative thoughts surface say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmations I think that the karmic partner has caused them to like uh, be gaslighted make them doubt themselves um, maybe lose confidence in the connection and all they are thinking about is negative thinking about themselves in this connection and they just feel trapped um, so it's interesting that's what's happening with them right there all right, so can we see uh, what else is going on here? So what are the shadows? Well, so reunions and celebrations. So I feel like in some way they might have been isolated from their social circles as well. Um, and they do want a reunion with you. It feels like they are thinking about you. They're desiring you. They want this reunion and celebration. So I wasn't focusing too much on shadows. I've already done the shadows. Um, but this is what I do feel is that if it is a shadow, they are being isolated. Uh, maybe they've done that themselves or the karmic partner has influenced that for them to kind of isolate uh, your person from their circle, their, their loyal uh, circle here. Their friends, family, that kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> so, yes, yeah, so I want to get a shadow message from your person to you. This is something they're going to say to... No, actually, let's see. This is what they're going to say to the karmic partner. Shadow message, okay? I am keeping my feelings for you secret. Look into my eyes and you'll see what I feel. So that's that deception as well, okay? This might not necessarily be romantic feelings, okay? I'm keeping my feelings for you secret. I'm resenting you. I don't want to be in this anymore. Um, you're making me feel like... I'm not myself, I'm, I'm spiraling downwards. Uh, and also I'm stuck in my grief. So they are feeling horrible, they're sad. I mean, if this has been a connection that has been codependent uh, or if they've been together for a long time, there could be grief at letting this go because that's just natural in relationships as well. So what does their higher self say to that person? I'm transparent and true. I hold strong integrity and I know you can trust me. So that's wanting them wanting to come forward and be transparent and tell them where they stand in this and be assertive, see, because we saw the assertiveness come through before. They're learning to be assertive with that person. So what does their shadow uh, say about you? Okay, what does their shadow say to you? So I may run only because these deep feelings are real and scare me. So the intensity of the desire is there. What is their uh, higher self message to you? So we've got, I have a clear direction of where things are heading. So they know they want to be with you. <laughs> it's just so amazing how these are all like this. My God, it's amazing. Um, so if you're dealing with a masculine, if your person's a masculine, okay, divine masculine, they want to say to you, it will never be over between us no matter what I say or do or who I'm with. <laughs> Why does it hurt so much without you? 
they're feeling the void and I care what you think and being with you is the best part of my day so they're reminiscing on that I mean some of you I know I can't assume that some of you are not in contact with your person some of you might be in contact and talking with your person um, so they're saying you know if you are spending time with them um, that they're saying being with you lights them up they love they love it it's the best part of their day so if you're dealing with a divine feminine okay she says I have so much to discuss with you I want you so bad I crave you huh yeah there's that uh, desire and I want to spend time with you in the real world not just in my fantasies and I want to be married to you Well, hang on. Oh, shit. It's flying out everywhere. Oh, my God. It won't let me pick it up. Codependency. Oh, my God. Look at that. Addictions. See, addictions coming up for this are affecting your romantic life. That, that fell on the floor like it flew out of the deck. Amazing. And playfulness. So to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So this is what they're feeling in this connection. This is what they want in this connection uh, with you. All right. So... Let's get some more messages. I'm still not sure. So they're in a place of confusion. It was real. And I'm right here with you always. These are messages to you. And yes. It's over. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, guys. This is amazing like a conversation isn't it I'm still not sure it was real I'm still not sure if this was actually real with this person I'm right here with you always yes it's over between me and him or her so that's that's that it's amazing now that's something else I had to look at here what else is uh, what's the lesson in this you know what's the lesson in this for your person Gaia physical body impression uh, it's about looking after one's health, the physical body. It's about getting outdoors again um, and growing and blossoming and flourishing in life and nourishing the soul, body and mind. Uh, it's about being strong and it's about body image and appearance and feeling confident. So I think that's what they need to do. I just want to get another one as well. Get back in t touch with Mother Nature. Ground their energy um, and allow things to grow. Creativity, allow their... Uh, look at the creativity guides. They might play an instrument. They might paint, dance, uh, draw. There's something that they haven't been doing with this person. It's just kind of gone dark. Um, so, you know, some of them might be tattoo artists, might have tattoos. Uh, I don't know why it's coming through. Boredom. Spirit teachers. Boredom. So they've been bored in this connection. They haven't been able to have inspiration to be creative. And they're being... Um, guided to get in touch and be aware of their physical body sometimes when we're in a bad situation or trauma or we're in denial we can disassociate or dissociate from our own physical body we don't feel grounded I feel like that's what's happening with your person is that this has been a bit of a ride uh, with the karmic so let's have a look what messages are coming out for you let go of resentment so maybe they are feeling or picking up on your resentment with them being with this person but remember this person is helping your person to grow their soul to evolve um, and for them to ascend and learn from the lessons and grow stronger um, so they're outgrown they've outgrown the karmic they've learned the lesson my heart aches to reconcile it's not your fault I love you. Beautiful. And so the, your guidance card here, okay, your guidance card or a uh, special message from spirit. We'll get one from the fairies here. Kindness. Just remain kind in your heart. Sometimes it's hard when we're sad or an anxious. There's anguish. Uh, we, we might hold resentment uh, towards the karmic especially. Um, we've just got to come into a kind energy and remember that everybody's on their journey, on their path, learning. We're all here teaching and learning from each other, you know, teaching others to uh, tr how to treat us also. Um, we are learning lots of lessons from people. 
um, in the uh, form of compassion. Uh, everybody's on their journey. So even having compassion for the karmic might sound strange and might be really foreign to a lot of people. Um, but that person, you've got to in some ways thank them because they have, they're helping to shape your person, okay? Helping them to, to grow and learn their lessons and it's a karmic thing going on here. So if anything, it's making your person wiser and stronger um, and also helping them to come back into union because they're learning those lessons. Now I wanted to get a rock. Where's the rock? Yes, I'm getting the rocks here today. So I've been feeling drawn to doing this today. So let's have a look. We've got faith. Did say have faith. Wisdom. Have faith that the wisdom is there, okay, for your person. And laugh. Laughter is everything. They want to come in with that playful energy with you. Okay. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm not doing the charms today. I've, I've just been so tired. I can't do everything today. But this is what I've been drawn to doing. Um, so if this has resonated, guys, please comment below. Don't forget to put a green heart in the comment section if you want to be in the draw to win a private reading with me or to go in the draw to win a deck of my cards, divine love messages from your twin flame soulmate. And your person says to you, can you feel me with you? Whoa. They are seriously in their mind, feeling your energy, wishing to be with you, making plans. Uh, they definitely want to come forward to you. So some of you might even be aware of that. You know, you might be aware of that and it's happening. So let's, you know, let um, remember what they said. Yes, it's over. Just remember that. So they're on their way. Okay. They're on their way out of that connection. I hope that's helped you guys and I look forward to connecting with you next time. Love and blessings. Hi group two, welcome guys. I'm so glad you could be with me today. You chose the little shell and the group two, Universal Celtic Tarot. So let's get started. I'm going to see basically what energy your person's sitting in regarding the karmic and then you. Group two's person, what energy, what energy is your person sitting in regarding their karmic partner right now? What energy are they sitting in spirit regarding the karmic partner? Choices, I don't know which path to take. Stress, I'm under so much pressure and you feel so far away, distance, interesting. So this could be two messages here that they're feeling that their karmic partner is far away from them in terms of physical distance. They can't take it anymore. They're under stress, under pressure to make a choice, to make a move, okay, maybe physically. They don't know which way to go, whether they move or don't move. This could also be emotional distance, and yet the same thing is happening here. They don't know what to do in this connection right now. They don't know whether to leave or stay. They don't know what to do. So can I get another card on that, please, Spirit? Yeah, we've got the Six of Swords. They don't see a clear future, a peaceful future with the karmic. They they just, they, they don't know how to move towards this, move towards a calm future with and leave the past behind, basically, with the karmic. So there's some issues there. How is the karmic feeling towards their, uh, towards your person? How is their karmic partner feeling towards your person? way too many sorry guys they're feeling quite a lot by the looks of it here responsible I need to start saving myself instead of everyone else so in some ways they might be feeling like they're picking up a lot of this connection maybe they're the one that's chasing uh, they need to take a step back perhaps and integrity I'm trying to do the right thing so they're trying to be responsible and do the right thing but they might also be putting pressure on your onto your person uh, in some ways and maybe they've given them an ultimatum because your person doesn't know what to do at the moment. They don't know which uh, path to take. There's a choice to make. Um, so, you know, I need to start saving myself instead of everyone else. I'm trying to do the right thing. There could be a Libra uh, connection here as well. But I do feel like there has been an ultimatum of some sort being given here to your person. Um, and they're starting to feel 
that either the karmic is slipping away because they've backed off because they need to start looking after themselves and, and so that's causing stress on your person. Um, but they're finding it very hard to see a future with your person and that's why this person, their karmic partner, has maybe given some kind of ultimatum because your person's just confused. They don't know what they want in this connection. They don't know how they feel in this connection. So how are they feeling towards you? How is your karmic partner feeling towards you, group two? How are they feeling towards you? Empathy. I feel your pain more than you know. Empathetic. So they're in tune with you. Your person is very in tune with you. Independent. I admire your freedom to be who you truly are. So they might be really uh, feeling that you are just living your life. You're free to do what you want. You're happy where you are, where you are, and you're a strong rock. They see that. They feel it. They feel your happiness. But it's it's interesting because it's saying I feel your pain more than you know. So maybe at the same time they're admiring your freedom because you are in pain over this. Maybe you have really stepped back and become very strong and empowered uh, in your own right, and they're still feeling the pain though through that. So maybe you're showing the world that you are you know, in maybe them in some way that you are happy, you're free and uh, able to move onwards and upwards. But be beneath all that, they can sense the pain. So the Queen of Pentacles, yeah, they, they are um, wanting to come forward with some kind of security for you. They want to be grounded for you. I feel like this is also maybe how they're seeing you is that you're not necessarily um, where you want to be in life. Okay, so you're independent, you're free, doing what you want, but you may not necessarily be there yet, um, exactly where you want to be regarding your home and family, your money, your career, that, things like that. Um, so how do they think you see them, okay? How does your person feel that you see them at the moment or that you feel about them? My anxiety is worse than ever before. I'm constantly worried and insecure. So they're, they're feeling that you are, are nervous about them. Is that what I'm saying here? Yeah. I'm just trying to think what I was just saying. I'm getting confused. <laughs> this is how they feel about you. This is how they think um, that you see them. Okay. They think that you see them as a nervous person um, as well in this I'm feeling. Yeah. That they're nervous and anxious about, about their connection right now. And courage was reversed, so yeah, I think I can fix this. That you might be trying to build courage, be strong. Uh, sorry, that they're trying to build courage and be strong in that connection, so they see that you you can see that they they might not have it. You know, they might not have it in them to make it work. Maybe this is a strong personality. The karmic might be a manipulator, someone who's very strong in their life, and and there's justice reversed. So there's an injustice. There's no balance. Things are not fair. So maybe they feel in some way that you see that they're not being treated fairly in this connection. Uh, yes. Yeah, so what I want to get now is the shadows. What shadows is uh, the karmic bringing out in your person right now? Gossip. So it could be causing your person to talk about them in this relationship and maybe they just aren't happy about that. Maybe they don't want your person to ex to talk about the, the issues. Coercion. So there's, there's something going on under the surface here. It could be in some way because gossip is all about talking um, and usually about others. Um, but it could be that in some way they are co coercing your person through manipulation, maybe through aggressive tactics. Um, to tell them what they've been saying about other about them to other people. And bully. Look at that. So interesting. We can look at it both ways with the shadows. I always do. I feel like this could be coming out in your person because of that ticking time bomb. It's like that cooker pressure thing going on with them that they just are feeling like they have been given an ultimatum. They can't work out their feelings in this space. They might be um, being bullied by the other person or it could be that they're bullying them it can kind of turn both ways so there's there's something dysfunctional definitely going on in that connection right there and I just got this come out humiliation so 
maybe this your karmic uh, their karmic partner humiliates them makes them feel less than um you kind of strips them away of their confidence because they're building courage here it looks like or they think you think they're trying to build courage but it does look like they don't have um a lot because it says here the karmic thinks they have to save them they're sick of saving people they have to take responsibility for themselves now so there could have been some codependent dysfunctional stuff going on here with your person regarding them in terms of uh maybe this person has been playing games um yeah, like almost like, and it might not be a game. It could just be that the karmic has withdrawn and is now giving an ultimatum due to some issues with your person. Um, that could be it as well. But there's definitely some underlying stuff going there. So what is the shadow regarding you with your person? What do you bring out in them? So flighty behavior. So for some reason they might be very uh, scared of this connection and they, they tend to run maybe or they, they, they you know feel like they need to run or one foot in, one foot out type of thing here. I just made a mess, hang on. Um, so it could just be that, yeah, you, you kind of, they're afraid of this connection. They might be really, you know, admiring your freedom and how strong and independent you are at the same time be really afraid um, that you're too good for them. Because there is a confidence issue there. Selfishness, so keeping to themselves. Maybe they withdraw and really just self-protect and it can come across as very selfish or sometimes they can be. And accusations, maybe when you have had times together they have been, you know, uh, accusing you of things or feel you're accusing them. What's the positive that um, the karmic brings out? Experienced? Funny? So... They're helping a person to learn through experiences. Maybe there has been some humor and laughs here as well in the connection. And that could be a coping mechanism too for some of them, but it is a positive as well, easy going. So even though we've got all the stress and the underlying stuff and the underlying shadows, there is this, there is an easy going. When they do get along, there's easy, they're easy going, they're funny, um, they're experienced in like your person's experienced in this so maybe they've been together for a while and this is a, a cycle that happens because there's experience in it what do you bring out positively in your person musical so they could be musical maybe you inspire them to write or listen to music or play music kind so you bring out a beautiful kind energy in your person healthy and introverted so it could be that they with part of that flighty behavior too that they do um, become introverted it doesn't have to be a bad thing um, being you know introverted it's a healthy introversion <laughs> but you might really inspire your person to really look after their own health as well and to be you know you bring out a beautiful kind energy within them so what's the shadow with uh, their karmic what are they learning knowledge study learning education so this is helping their soul to evolve they're learning more about themselves in this process they're gaining knowledge about what they can and can't deal with um, and what's healthy and what's not healthy they're starting to become aware of all this that's why they're also uh, feeling like they just can't see a future with this person uh, even though there's all this dysfunction going on it's, it's the codependency that keeps them coming back i feel um, and the karmic is trying to, in some way, um, I feel, put up some boundaries there as well. So, um, but I do, I do sense kind of like a game playing in terms of uh, the ultimatum has been given, and it's kind of like your person feels trapped that they have to make a decision, and they don't feel good about it. They don't want to make a decision right now. They're stressing out about it. Okay, so let's get a shadow message. Okay, from uh, your person to their karmic. So I want your hands all over my body and mine all over yours. You drive me wild. So there's a real lust thing. Maybe it's just a physical connection mostly between them. And I'm in a dark place of sadness. Uh, that's the, that's the uh, yeah, definitely the sadness, the stress, not feeling understood, feeling backed in a corner um, and feeling like they have to, um, you know, maybe in some ways they feel bullied by the karmic, but in some ways they might turn on the karmic and bully them. If Because sometimes if someone just withdraws the love and just goes cold, because it could be that happening, um, 
it can cause the other person, the person who's also in a codependency, to to turn around and chase and demand things and, you know, want answers and all that kind of thing. So what's the higher self message to the karmic? I can be myself around you. So they feel like in some ways they can be. And I am strong in myself and know everything is going to be okay. And that's part of that learning and growing and gaining courage and things like that. Maybe they feel like they have to prove something to the karmic to really prove something to themselves. Um, so what is the shadow message to you from your person? So I bet you wish you never met me. So they might feel like they've done wrong by you, that you are too good for them. You're moving on. You'd look down on them, you know. And I am racked with guilt. So there's a guilt here. Maybe they chose to the karmic over you. Uh, maybe there was an infidelity. Whatever it is, there's something they're, they're racked with guilt with and they're feeling your pain. So they might have done, dirty on, they've done the dirty on you. All right, so let's get a higher self message from your uh, person. I'm undergoing an inner transformation. Please be patient with me. Wow, oh my God, they're flying out everywhere. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. I will take the ones that have turned upright, okay? So we've got, I have a clear direction of where things are heading. I have healed my broken heart, so they're healing it. And yes, your instincts are correct. I have very deep feelings for you. So let's have a look. Did I get these? No, I haven't got these yet. So let's have a look at what else is happening for their person phoenix rising courage look at this courage again interesting they're building the courage to rise from the ashes to be reborn maybe to um bring this relationship back to life okay that could be something if they're still very attached and they want to prove something to that person uh if the karmic is holding back firmly and won't allow them in or puts boundaries up if uh, you know if they do something then they'll be allowed in so it's kind of like that crumbs you know giving crumbs that kind of thing um so they might give a little bit of their love to the to your person and then um you know it kind of feels like they they almost got to beg for love um, so there's a courage here, but there's a phoenix rising. It could be that, okay, wanting to bring the relationship back to life, but it could also be that they are, their own soul is rising from the ashes and they're ascending through this and the lessons and the learning and they're going to have the courage to leave. That could be something as well. Oh, wow. This was for you. So say what you mean, beauty. So this is interesting because there might have been some misinterpretations, uh, misunderstandings, um, things were misinterpreted in text or just, you know, maybe you guys weren't able to really uh, express to each other the true feelings that were there because maybe they weren't able to express their true feelings or what they wanted with you. Um, and it, there's a lot of confusion perhaps in this as well. And we've got beauty. So... Did they ever tell you that you were beautiful? Did they ever really share that they had feelings for you as well as lust for you? Because I feel like they really do see you as a beautiful person. They look up to you regardless of whether you're male or female. They look up to you and see that you are this amazing, vibrant being who's just so much better than them and better off without them in some ways. Um, because they're caught up in this dark place of sadness and, and this cycle with this karmic partner. Um... Yeah, and it could be also that they are frustrated because you might not have really come forward and said that what you really want either in this. So they might feel in some ways that they were confused. They didn't know what you wanted. So what are they what are they actually surrendering? What is spirit helping them to surrender? Okay, at this time. Surrender the drama, because there's a lot of dramas with this karmic. No matter how emotionally charged the situ situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centred will help resolve the issue more quickly. So that's something they're stressed at the moment. They're in this drama, and it is like a cycle of drama. Um, so they definitely, you know, sometimes drama can be addictive because you have the chaos and then... Um, you know, the distance and then the making up and it's like that makeup sex type thing. It's it's just like an addictive thing. And I feel like your person might be, uh, they might be in some weird thing like that where there's just this on-off behavior. 
um, or if it's not on and off, it's like a pulling back and then coming together and pulling back again. So it's just, it's crazy. Um, but your person has to learn self-worth. Uh, that's something here that they're learning, I think, and being assertive and all those things. So what does it say for the things here? Yeah. So, okay, if you're dealing with a divine masculine, what does he want to say to you? I love you. You turn me on so much. And I don't want to lose you. And you are the only one who has ever really mattered to me. Okay, so if you're asking about a divine feminine today, what does she want to say to you? You, you are everywhere I go in everything I do. I see you everywhere. I wish I could kiss you and feel your breath on my face. I want to look good and dress up for you. And if you need space, just tell me and I will give it to you willingly. So it's interesting. Some of you might be in contact with your person. There might be contact. Um, you might not know everything that's going on. Um, you know, maybe energetically you can feel it. But if you are in connection with your person or contact, um, you know, they see you. And even if you're not, they're looking at your social me media, I feel, as well. Um, so yeah, they want to, I feel this pull towards you. Okay. Whether they're male or female, whatever, masculine, feminine, they've got a pull to be with you. Um, but they, yeah, they also, they don't want to bombard you. They want to give you space. Um, if, if this is someone that's contacting you. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So let me see. What else have we got here? I'm just looking at all my cards, making sure that I've got everything here. So what else are they learning? Or what's happening? Family. So they've, they're learning about who their family is, where their soul tribe is. And, you know, sometimes our friends or our partners can be our family. It's that soul tribe. What's going on here? Truth. Being true to themselves. That's a really huge thing here. Being true about who their true family is, basically. Connecting with the family, you know, the Holy Spirit. Um, purity. Um, those who are love and light and compassion and kindness. The eternal truth coming through. Um, so there is, there is clarity coming to your person around this connection, whether their person is really, um, there for them. Uh, you know, it does look like the, in, the karmic is trying to have integrity in this situation and do the right thing, but there's also some manipulations going on and your person's in survival mo mode right now. So they are really lost. They don't really know where they belong because family is all about belonging. They don't really know where they belong in this. They're trying to survive, trying to find the truth. And there's maybe... Um, maybe needing space from this person, you know, time out to really process and think about what it is they want, where they're meant to go. That kind of thing is here as well. And we've got trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith, so they have to trust um, maybe in the connection, in their person, build, you know, rebuild the trust or just trust in their own intuition about what to do. And with you, there's healing family issues. So your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. What I feel with this is that maybe there's still some issues that have been unresolved between you. They're feeling your pain. They might have left you in the dark with things uh, or even left you. You know, they might have ghosted you. There was a flighty behavior, I think it was, wasn't it? And I'm trying to remember. Was it flighty? Yeah, flighty behavior right here. So they might have both, uh, bailed or ghosted on you. Know, on you. I'm trying to think what I'm saying. But bailed on you, ghosted you. All right, so is that everything I've got here so far? Let's get some messages. So I think about you often and you need to forgive yourself. So there might be something that you also feel guilty about uh, or bad about. Be patient because they're still learning and they are where they are. No. No. Oopsies, there's too many, my God. Um, hang on, I've just got to get that back in there. Oh, they want to come out. This hasn't been easy on me and there is still hope. So 
they're on a journey there's still darkness they don't really have the answers they don't have the clarity they're feeling your pain they wish they could heal it with you but they just don't know what to do there's communication issues maybe you blocked each other i don't know what's going on there but there's maybe no contact at all for some of you um and so it's kind of like left up in the air um so what else do they want to say to you so let's talk look at that I want to talk with you clear the air i feel sad I feel sad. Let's talk. I feel sad. See, they said they're in a place of dark sadness. I want to hug you right now. Oops. My heart aches to reconcile. Look at that. So even though they're stuck in this journey, they are wanting to reconcile. You are the one I dream of and I wish you were here. So they know where their heart lies, but they're really stuck in this thing. It's As I said, it's like that cycle that they're, they're caught up in. Um as well so let's get a a card here i'm just checking i've done them all here yeah i've done them all here so let's here let's see your their guidance card vacation so they need to take time out go on a vacation um that's what i see here uh yeah they definitely need to take some time out maybe both of you just need to also just you know focus on yourselves take some time out for now treat yourselves treat yourselves right we've got sexuality here too so there might be some issues around that that need to be healed uh, as well and uh, the energy too feeling the energy of that um, could be a weekend away so that could be in the future could be something that's going on I just want to see what's that moving forward fearlessly look at that moving forward fearlessly healing these issues intimacy issues um because so i think that they're very scared of that with you for some reason it scares them whatever this is might not be love it could be codependency it could be lust uh, i mean not saying there's no love there at all i mean we all have feelings but at the end of the day i think that what they've got with you really scares them but they wish to be with you. They want they want to heal this with you. Maybe they're afraid that you've moved on, that you wouldn't have a bar of them because you might look down on them. I think that said that here as well. And they're saying this hasn't been easy on me. I've been really struggling through this. Okay, let's get you a healing stone. Doing a healing stones for the rest for the end of the reading today. So we've got courage. That's so interesting, my finger now what's going on <laughs> courage here see this is amazing three times this has come up around your person they need the courage to either leave this or you know they need the courage to be assertive and leave this situation i feel and to heal it faith and accept acceptance so maybe they just need to accept the situation you know, for what it is, um, acceptance, maybe you need to accept it for how it is at the moment. If you haven't, have faith in the process that, you know, your person is gaining the courage to maybe move forward fearlessly. See, it says move, moving forward fearlessly, meaning that there is fear. There's no courage in coming forward and they are seriously see you as a beautiful person, admire you in every way and they just don't feel like they could come forward towards you. Maybe that's another reason why they're remaining in this cycle in this relationship at the moment is that they need to gather courage gain their confidence to come forward towards you all right so so guys i hope that's resonated and if it has please comment below don't forget to put a green heart in the comments section if you want to be in the draw to win a private reading with me or to go in the draw to win a deck of my cards and they say to you when you hear our song know that i am with you so they might have written one for you they might have uh, you might have one together or you know it's just a song that will uh, constantly play uh, on you you know you'll hear it and that'll be their message to you so i look forward to connecting with you next time guys love and blessings Hi group three, welcome guys. You chose the clear quartz crystal with the mythic tarot. And we're first up going to see what is your person's current energy regarding their karmic partner. Okay. And then we're also going to see what, your, what uh, their energy is regarding you. Okay. So first up, where am I? Where's my cards? Oh, I just had them. Okay. 
Group three. What is your person's energy regarding their karmic, their karmic partner, please? Well, that's come out, okay? I don't know which path to take choices. And irresponsible. I can't keep it together. I know I've already screwed things up. So there's a falling apart here and a feeling of anguish, perhaps some kind of anxiety about what choice to take. Do I leave? Do I stay? Uh, toing and froing, perhaps. We'll just get an idea. The your person's energy regarding their karmic partner. Way too many, sorry guys. These are very thin cards. So the ones I've got here are thin. So they just throw out like 50 at once. <laughs> Maybe not that many. But look, the Tower, Sudden Change, Epiphanies. Uh, not a very pleasant card for some people. Uh, big change is coming here. Sudden changes, sudden awakening. Uh, shit hitting the fan, I call it. <laughs> so yeah, that's interesting. Something's definitely happening. We've got the, um, look at the waters, okay? Look at the waves. Everything's turbulent. This is what's going on here at the moment. Um, so, okay, I just want to get what is their karmic partner's energy regarding your person? What is their karmic person's energy regarding your, like, towards your person? What is their energy? Deceiving. I've been lying to myself and you. And maybe that's where this epiphany, sudden awakening, sudden change, erratic behavior I'm hearing is coming through. They can't quite keep it together. They feel like they've screwed up. Is there a victim blaming, turning things around? Is your person really the one who's screwed up? Or is this person screwing up and, and uh, putting it onto your person because there's a deceiving energy going on here? Could be also that your person has stuffed up something in this connection. You know, it takes two to tango sometimes. Um, but we're going to see. What is the karmic partner's energy towards your person? Surprise. I have a beautiful surprise planned for you. Mm, yeah, so they're the person that will do things behind their back, maybe more than once. Uh, and then we'll suddenly surprise them with something to keep them to keep them around. That's why I think your person is well. It's a sudden wake up happening. Let's see what else is going on there. Wow, hang on. <laughs> oh, look at that sudden change. Sudden change in fortune. Uh, sometimes it's a very good card. Okay, it can represent good luck. I want to see what comes up after that. So they feel like they've got, you know, they've got lucky with this person that they're with, with your person. They feel like they can deceive them, pull the wool over their eyes, and then they just have to put on the good thing, maybe buy them something, take them somewhere, um, you know, promise them things, and then it's just going to be okay. They kind of might manipulate your person to make it think, to make them think that they've done this karmic partner wrong, that they are the ones that have been causing this behavior. Um, so there's a lot of gaslighting, there's love bombing, there's all sorts of shit going on there. Yeah, Five of Cups is regret. See, he's running out the door and she's like, no, wait, come back. Um, or, you know, he or she, whatever you want to say it is. Um, but it represents grief and sorrow. Okay, so it's interesting because... Even though we've got, I feel like it's an illusion. I feel like this surprise is good, happy, good luck or whatever it is. Because don't forget, this is not the energy of the connection. This is the energy that the karmic is feeling towards your person. Um, so they might feel that, you know, things can improve. Things will get better. I'm lucky to have them um, because they will always come back no matter what pain I cause. Uh, we can always make things work out. So they know how to manipulate things here. Yeah, yes they do. Um, so let's get a shadow. Oh no, sorry, I'm not up to that yet. 
How is your person feeling about you? Okay, what is what is the energy of your person? How are they actually feeling towards you, group three? How is your person feeling towards you? How are they actually feeling towards you? Because, oh God, as I'm tuning into this, I feel sick. And I was not, that's such a different feeling to what the other two were. I'm feeling sick. Like I really feel like your person is an innocent person. I'm not saying that they aren't, um, like I'm not saying they're gullible in any way, but I feel like this person, this karmic is taking advantage of them, is taking them for granted, is maybe using them in some way for their own benefit. Um, but there is a sudden awakening. What is that? I want to get more on that actually. I do want to get more on that, please. Because it looks to me that something is found out here. It's sudden. Like there might have been a sudden epiphany. Uh, something was found out. There's choices to make. I don't know whether to stay or go because it's dysfunctional, codependent. They gaslight your person. So that's what that would most likely be there with that tower energy. Um, that's that's what I mostly get with that. Um, yeah, look at that. Oh, I've got a few of them here. have got the two of cups. See? And it's funny, isn't it? She's bound, so it's, it kind of represents male or female. It doesn't matter that your person's kind of bound and maybe a little bit emotionally trapped in this connection um, because your their karmic is coming back, offering something, even though they're kind of keeping them in it. Um, and we've got the Three of Pentacles, so your person doesn't want to work on this. They don't want to work on it, okay? They don't want to work on it for the reward. Um, that's their epiphany. They're starting to realize that there's nothing of value in this. Okay, so there we are. That's what that's about. So anyway, let's get back to what is your person feeling for you, group three? What is your person feeling for you, group three? Build. I would like to work together to have stability. So this is what they're feeling, either subconsciously or, you know, consciously. It's either on their mind, they definitely know, or this is something that's still subconscious in their mind. Um, anger. There's a burning rage inside of me. So they're either very angry. Doesn't doesn't make sense really that they'd be angry towards you if they want to build something with you that's stable. But maybe this rage or whatever's going on with this situation, they are angry at you for some reason. Maybe it's coming out towards you, but it's not your fault in any way. But there's there's something here that is to like because it's about you. It's their feelings towards you. Maybe they're angry because they could have built something with you. It wasn't the right time or something happened between you and now they're caught up in this. Something like that. Okay, it could be there. Yeah, the devil and page of wands. Wow. There's a lot of sexual energy here, but there's also the shadows. Okay, the shadows. Um, I feel like in some ways they want to have this stability with you, this strong, stable uh, safe, secure energy, like this relationship with you, but there's a lot of things that are unresolved between you. I feel like they want to, um, oh, there's a lot of passion here. There is a lot of passion there, but it's more than that. It's more than that. I just want to get more info, uh, with that. Can I get a clarifier on the page of wands here? So I feel like they want to come rushing in. Um, but they're kind of like unsure of what they want, you know, they're unsure. So I feel like they might have, um, some very deep unresolved anger here, the nine of wands as well. So that's boundaries. They are trying to keep their boundaries up. So it could be that some of you are in communication or contact, or even if you're not, they're trying to restrain themselves. They're trying to just persist. Um, and persevere in their situation right now. They might need to take some time out. Maybe they feel they've had to take time out regarding you. Maybe they just can't face this now because there is anger, but deep down they want the stability with you. They want they want the stability, the the um, the rebuilding of this connection, even if it's a friendship. Um, but there is this in the way. There is this anger here in the way. And there's mixed emotions here, I feel. On one hand... They might feel like they've got to put up a bit of a boundary with you. Um, they need time out to just think and process, but they can't really because they're stuck in this bloody thing here. So it's it's quite like a, a spider web, like they're caught up in this um, right here. Oh, that's kind of a heavy energy right there, and I feel like they're almost like angry at you. Maybe they can see that you're building your life up, okay? That could be some other way of looking at it, that you have built your life up away from them, 
and gotten on with things and they just want to come forward and maybe lash out at you in some way and you know kind of express themselves in some way to you it's it's mixed feelings on one hand they are you know they're passionate about you they've got these feelings for you they want this life with you on the other hand there's anger for unresolved stuff here ah now if this doesn't make any sense to you maybe this is not your reading but it's very very strong there okay so let's get oh god hang on a minute my cards are flying out everywhere let's get a shadow okay for your person here all right so what's going on with your person what are they teaching them what's going on nobility honor high standards idealistic so they've got to raise their standards they've got to come through this with no nobility um, in other words they might be burying their head in the sand they're not really uh, raising their standards they might be in victim mode they might feel like they don't deserve anything better than what they're receiving from this person there's something that they've got to really they're trying to break through in that with that so what shadow is the karmic partner bringing out in your person bully so they might in some way bully the karmic to tell them the truth to be honest to be transparent um, abuse so they might become abusive there is a drinking of red wine in this card so maybe they do drink and, and get angry and um, you know come after the karmic and and really want answers and are angry and and um, there's a dysfunctional thing going on here you know it, it just feels like yeah so, I mean I think in all three readings I've seen like a gaslighting going on but this is love bombing as well and betrayal so they definitely feel betrayed by the karmic with that deceiving going on that deception uh, and it turns them into a very angry energy see the anger is possibly what they're feeling for this person but it's it's towards you because sometimes we you know some people might think oh they don't care about me but when someone's angry at you it means they care okay because behind anger is hurt so what is the shadow with you actually I forgot to do the other thing I was going to do but I'll just do this first anyway what is the shadow with you what what shadows do you bring out within your person humiliation so they might feel humiliated because once again you might be strong you might be getting on with life you might show them who they are uh, you know their shadows you might actually bring that out and, and be a mirror for them to see those things and they feel humiliated um, what else what else please spirit what does your what do you bring out in your person bias so they only see kind of like one point of view whoops shit what's that holy crap they've fallen everywhere disagreeable i'll pick them up later i only needed three but my god they fell everywhere um so i did want to get just quickly as well disagreeable is that they might feel in some ways that they need to they just don't agree with things you're coming out with and telling them so it does it kind of feels like they are just believing in one side maybe they don't want to open their mind up to other things that they could be learning with you and they're learning the hard way through this person so things you could have shown them and we're lovingly showing them or maybe even not maybe you maybe there was just issues here that you know things did come up and they weren't happy with that uh, made them feel embarrassed and humiliated but then they've gone into this situation um, or vice versa you know it could be uh, yeah it's just something something's going on there so let's see okay what what they we've seen how they feel towards you but what do they think you feel towards them okay what do they think you feel towards them lies I can't seem to do what's right so they might feel that you think that they're lying okay maybe you think and maybe they think that you've lied to them or that they've lied to you um, no they think that they think that you think this is where it gets bloody confusing <laughs> they think that you think that they've been lying to you or lying to themselves okay and worried it feels like I'm carrying the weight of the world so you see them as worried that's how they see that you see them that they're worried anxious uh, carrying these burdens and lying to themselves maybe that's what that's about
and walking away. See, emotionally walking away. They're disappointed, abandoning a situation that could have been this relationship. Maybe they see that you see that they abandoned this connection here, that they weren't happy in this connection, but they've gone into something worse. Uh, or it could be that they see that you see that they're unhappy and that they're going to make a choice to leave this. Um, either way, take as it resonates. Um, so what have I got? So what positives has, you know, we all have a positive side, otherwise they wouldn't have been with your per their karmic person in the first place. But what positives, okay, what positives are uh, brought out in your person from the karmic? Bravery. Look at that, brave. So, huh, yeah, I mean, they have to be resilient with this person. This person is brutal in a lot of ways, emotionally, psychologically brutal to your person. So they have to come through with bravery. They have to be strong. They have to grow in themselves. Um, graceful, so move through life, through this experience in a graceful way. How they carry themselves. Blossoming in this as well. So this is... Starting to, and I know it sounds weird because you can kind of see where they're at, but they're going to come out and blossom from this. It's going to help them uh, to rise up. So what positives do you bring out in your person? Oh, divine. So this is their divinity. This is their true light and their soul. You connect. They feel like they connect with you and everything when they're with you. Intelligent. So it's like when you're together, like your mind, like you bring them out into conversation. They want to express to you the things that they know about. Um, empowered. Well, there's a few here. Empowered, generous, emotionally available and extroverted. So when they're around you, no matter if they're an extrovert or not, they feel extroverted. They feel empowered. This is the positives, okay, that come through. They want to open up and be emotionally available and generous with you. So let's see another card here, okay? So, karmic part. Oh, God, help me. All right, hang on. They're flying out bloody everywhere. Uh, somehow, that was weird. They flew across the floor and then hit something and then came back towards me. <laughs> so weird, man. Oh, my God. So there you go. Your person's probably going to be detouring around in this situation and then come, then find their way back to you. Okay, that could happen. Oh, they're flying out everywhere. My God, your person's, there's a lot of energy. What was that? Ah, overburdened. I don't know how the hell they came on there, but overburdened, see, in the connection. Definitely we uh, wearing the weight of the world on their shoulders. Um... Victim consciousness, that's what's happening. They're in victim consciousness and their karmic partner is also enabling that, encouraging that in some way because it's an abusive relationship. So what's going on with you? Procrastination. So this relationship is delayed, okay? There's procrastination in maybe reconnecting, maybe healing things, maybe you're procrastinating uh, with your own healing. There's something going on here um, with this as well. So it can be that because of the victim consciousness that this is also taking a long time to heal this particular thing because, I mean, there's two separate things going on here, two separate relationships, um, connections, and they're really embroiled in all of this stuff here. Uh, we've got you over here, so... Maybe at the moment you, you just feel like you're a bit lost. You don't know what to do. Maybe in other areas of your life you're okay. But when it comes to this person, you just... Maybe some of you are holding out, waiting for your person and not really living a life with maybe a soulmate or someone else. Uh, or even if you are, maybe you're just not really... Your heart's not in it. Um, let's have a look at some messages. So shadow messages from your person to their karmic says I can't make contact it's all too hard so in some ways I think that they just can't connect with their person they can't um, you know there might even be a separation between them might be some time out whatever's going on they just don't want it's too much effort for them to have to pick it up all the time and I wasn't being honest with you or with myself. So they've both been lying to themselves. They've both been lying to each other and to themselves. What is the higher self message for the karmic? So they say to the karmic, I'm breaking free from negative attachments, which could be the karmic as well, which could be negative. I mean, don't forget karmics come in to teach us about ourselves. In some ways, karmics can be seen as 
uh, a blessing. And I know that sounds weird because especially if they're an abusive person, it's not a blessing. Um, but in terms of spiritual side, okay, when we're looking into the spiritual side of things, they are really testing your person's resilience, uh, helping their soul to evolve, helping them to be courageous and stand up for themselves and be self-protective and, um, you know, to learn, uh, uh, what am I saying, issues around self-worth, self-value, things like that. So what's their um, shadow message to you? I feel so overburdened and exhausted by our unresolved issues. So there's something going on there. And other people are affecting our connection. So it could be this karmic, it could be family, it could be friends, whatever it is. There's, they're, they're saying that people are getting in the way uh, and affecting this as well. It could be on the calm, uh, on your side too. So what's your uh, their higher self saying to you? You help me see that it's not always my fault. And I am on a journey of healing past pain and freeing myself from negative self-beliefs. And all I want to experience with you is balance and harmony. So what are they... Oh gosh, there's a few cards. What are they surrendering right now? So they're surrendering... Uh, your belief in scarcity. The universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, uh, you can remove blocks in your life and, and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. See, in victim conscious mode, you don't feel like there's enough. You don't feel like you're enough. Um, so it might feel that there's just lack in the li in life, lack in love, lack in um, any kind of, oh, they call it lackluster or something. There's just this lack there's no, there's no um, coming to life in this connection. It just feels really dysfunctional, really quite um, maybe dangerous on their mind and soul, their emotions, things like that. So they've got to believe that they're enough. And it's like a roller coaster, okay, in some ways, because they might pull your person up and uplift them and bring them up and then bang, they're bringing them down. There's narcissistic qualities and traits within their karmic partner. So let's have a look for passion. So allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So there is passion. There is lust. There is that kind of honeymoon period and, and phase they go through, I feel. And then with yours, and it could just be lust. You know what I mean? It's just an attraction. Maybe that's what it is. Romantic feelings. See the difference between passion and romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Not saying passion is bad, by the way. Um, but I feel like for them, it might be all that it really is. And sometimes when it's um, just the lust, it can fizzle out pretty quickly. Um, and, you know, it takes a lot of effort and uh, that honeymoon phase again to kind of bring it back. But I feel like with you, there's always those romantic feelings there, even if they're underlying for now. So let's get some messages, okay? So if you're dealing with a Divine Masculine, he wants to say, I miss talking to you. I think about how stupid I've been. I'm so proud of who you are. I think about kissing you and I try and understand why you want me. So there's that self-worth, uh, lack of self-confidence even. If you're dealing with a Divine Feminine, she says to you, I want to do the things that normal couples do and I want to do that with you. So, you know, she's feeling that with you. She doesn't have that over here. There's, she's not being looked after over here if that's her energy, okay? So we've got, I need to find my own way now. Come back to me when you can give me what I know I deserve. So in some ways, like she's not getting what she deserves in this connection, but she's looking at you that you didn't give her what she deserves. And maybe there's some way of, uh, some weird way of feeling angry at you that she's even in this situation. So you could have done wrong by her and then she's gone into this connection and now feeling bad towards you, like angry. You know, if when it's really her own issue, like she needs to sort it out. She needs to look within at the self-worth, the self-love, all that stuff and empower herself. When you ignore my birthday, it hurts my heart. I never forget yours. And you are not a stranger. You are the one I was born to be with. And I am loyal to you because no one else comes close to how I feel about you. So, <clears throat> where am I? So, yeah, I'll get some more messages here. 
hang on, it's got to feel right, guys. Yeah, there we are. So I should have said I love you more. So whether this is a male or feminine, it doesn't matter now. So trust fate. So they're saying to you, I should have said I love you more. Trust fate because things are happening as they're meant to and I have my own healing to do. They're aware of it. And I wish you could let this go. So they might feel in some ways that they are kind of holding you back. I would still go back. So maybe it means that they would still go back with you. They would like to go back to what it was, you know, maybe not the uh, horrible things in the connection. But yeah, they wanted, I wanted it to be you. See, they wanted this connection with you. This is only good night, not goodbye. And you are so beautiful. So what else have I got here, Spirit? Yes, we want to see this one as well. It's a bit of a longer reading, this one. But that's okay. There's a, a heaviness your person's undergoing right now. Okay, so what's happening with your person? Yes, there's an epiphany coming to your person. We did see that tower energy. There's a sudden awakening occurring. Uh, they may just make that decision, okay? And we've also got priorities. So they're, they're going to start looking at where their priorities are. And their first priority is themselves. So it could be, um, you know, they have to look after their emotional, mental spiritual physical health they have to look after all that stuff uh, they're probably coming to an epiphany also that this person hasn't kept them as a priority and also unconditional love divine mother so they're moving into their feminine energy they need to nurture themselves and they're starting to learn that um, so let's see what they want to say to you so they say i know we are soulmates and hold on to the happy memories and cherish the sad ones as they both bring great lessons. So they, they do realize like when they, I feel like there is some wisdom to your person, but they've gotten so caught up in this stuff that they just can't see too clearly. But they are saying that they're holding on to the happy memories between you and they're cherishing the sad ones as they do realize they have brought them lessons or they will soon realize. And fear held me back. So they were afraid. And be patient and your heart will heal so they feel like you know you're in a better position than they are that you're gonna heal you'll be fine um, our love is protected and can you feel me with you so they are very much thinking about you they don't probably want you to know that <laughs> but they are um, let me get a stone for you I'm going to get some stones here. So we've got strength. They're building strength and health. So they're building their strength to heal themselves, I feel, to come into good health and also inspire. So they're trying to find their inspiration to make the move. At the moment, I feel like it's quite gloomy for them. They are in this cycle, uh, you know, with this person where it can become dysfunctional and abusive um, and maybe the person bullies them. Either way, they're kind of both doing it with each other, um, and there's deception here. So I feel like this person does deceive them often, um, and it's this cycle, as I said, they keep going back for more. So it's like an addiction. They just have a really low self-esteem in this, um, but it does look like they'll break free. So I think that's it. So if this has resonated, guys, comment below. Don't forget to put a green heart in the comment section if you want to be in the draw to win a private reading with me or to go in the draw to win a deck of my cards, divine love messages from your twin flame soulmate. And they say to you, I miss you. So they miss, they miss you. They miss talking to you, holding you, laughing with you and are no doubt still wanting you. You know, they want to be with you. Um, so they know that you are their soulmate or twin flame, whatever the label might be. They know that you're their person, um, but they're just stuck in this dark place right now and they are feeling trapped, um, but at the same time, they, they can't break free. But it looks like a choice is about to be made, guys, so keep praying if that's what you want. You know, Keep putting the white light around your person and praying for their protection as well. Your love is protected, but yeah, still send them out to them. Okay, guys, so I look forward to um, connecting with you guys next time. Love and blessings. Okay, I'm just going to quickly do the um, cards here, but I just need to do group threes. Group threes 
uh, card because of the guidance card or whatever because I forgot to do it. So this is for group three. Oops, they've come up already. Awakening your true self and quiet time. So it's time to take some, you know, time to take time out for yourself. Time to go somewhere quiet and look within so that you can truly awaken who you are. Look within yourself at who you are. Well, who is your true self, you know? Um, it's important to tap into that because sometimes we lose ourselves along the way and when we, when we go into a quiet place, we don't have the distractions everywhere and we can really start to find who we are and reconnect basically with who we are and awaken that within ourselves. So I'm just going to do a collective message with that as well. So we've got env environmental awareness, being aware of your environment. Are you feeling safe in your environment? Do you feel like maybe there's things you could change in your environment right now? Um, and that could be something as simple as, you know, changing a room around. Um, you know, so such thing as feng shui as well, as they say, feng shui or feng shui, however you want to say it. Um, and I really do believe in that. So it could be that some of you want to buy new things and... and turn a room into something or go outside and sit in nature, being aware of everything around you, being connected with everything. All right, let's have a look. What is your person surrendering to? This is the, the collective energies, okay, today. Surrender to silence. So in quiet meditation or contemplation, let go and enter the stillness within. Silence can heal and replenish you. So they might be in a place of silence right now, not really opening up to their karmic or to anybody at the moment. They just need to, to withdraw and find themselves. It's a good thing. And business. So Venus, so this is about love, it's beauty, it's abundance. So, you know, the um, divine feminine, divine masculine might really be uh, focusing on what they love doing and uh, receiving money with what they're doing, following their dreams in their career as well. So it kind of helps them to build their confidence further and empower them. When you can do that, you can make wiser and, and healthy decisions as well. So let's have a look at the positives that are coming out from this whole experience with your person. They're going to come out calm. Their soul is going to be calm, which is brilliant. Abundant. Look at that. Abundant and friendly and devoted so they're coming out with some really beautiful energies what shadows are they healing fear fear okay fearful it's their fears the healing fears hostility anything like that that's been triggered within them they're healing it bitterness and destruction so they're healing all those things as well it's really good because you know they need to move away from that um, we've got this card, which is courtesy, thoughtful, polite, good manners. So they're, they're coming into that kind of energy where, um, I think that in some ways we, we, we tend to, uh, disrespect people if, well, especially if they're disrespecting us. Um, but it feels like in some way that, um, they've been treated badly. So they have learned to, um, treat you know, maybe the karmic badly as well. And so maybe that's a pattern and habit they've been getting into is um, being extra sensitive and triggered. They're like when something triggers them, they might come back with something harsh um, and they've got to be aware that not everybody is going to be the same. So they've got to look after their manners, how they present themselves to the world, you know, that kind of thing. I meant to say also that these are by Lucy Cavendish, I'm pretty sure. Uh, is it Lucy Cavendish? I've just got to make sure of that. Uh, where is it? Uh, yes, it is. Lucy Cavendish. These are my own Divine Shadow Self Oracle that I created as well as my Divine Radiance Self Oracle that I created. Um, these are the Ask Your Guides by, uh, what's her name? So Sonia Choquette. Okay, so we've done those. And this, I've done those as well. So then we've got the Power of Surrender cards by Judith Orloff. So what are they surrendering to right now? They're surrendering denial as well. So I think we did that before. Accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. So some of them might be in denial, starting to take that blindfold off. We've got the Heal Yourself cards by, in, uh, in what does it say? Uh, Inner Seagal, that's it. And so we've also got temptation, we've got rejection. So there's a temptation to go back into what is rejecting them. 
um, and also the family and tribe here as well. So they need to stick close to their soul circle and sometimes our karmics are part of that soul circle as well. They're teaching us a lesson. But there could be a temptation to move away from, you know, the, the people who are protecting them, um, who are good for them. So they're kind of veering away from all of that right now. We've got Bridget Brow's Ocean of Emotion cards. Oops. So we've got guilty, riddled with guilt and shame. Oh my God, I knew that was going to happen. And wise. So it says, I've found the wisdom needed to change my perspectives. Um, so they're, they're starting to become wise and, you know, move past the guilt. We've got the romance angels by Doreen Virtue. Sorry, this is dark now, but I've just, yeah, I've been on it all day. So we've got here chemistry. So this is a strong magnetic attraction here okay so there is still that with you even though they might be caught up with a karmic they're still feeling that with you the divine masculine cards by liz harrison divine masculine 101 i need my space sometimes to think things through and i want to introduce you to my family as my one you light me up inside and let's start a family together. So there's something very important about family. Maybe the masculine is ready to make that long-term commitment when they come back. And the Divine Feminine 101 cards by Liz Harrison as well say to you, I want to spend time with you in the real world. I'm understanding that we are, uh, where is it? Bloody hell. We are, it's not working. It says here, I understand that we are learning from each other. And I would rather be single forever than in the wrong relationship. And I hate that I get so triggered by you and our connection. These are the unspoken messages of love. Um, conversation deck. So we see, I miss the old times. And we've got, there is nothing we can do to change it. And there is no need to worry. I have no regrets. So, yeah, there's a bit of a conversation going on there about having no regrets. Um, but I think that, you know, for the majority of you, your person really does want to come back. They just feel stuck where they're at. And they know it's just something they've got to stay in for a while. Uh, maybe some of them will cut it off right now. These are my divine love messages from your twin flame soulmate that you have the chance to win. And they say, I often think of our last intimate times together. And I'm thinking of you right now. Oops. You, your heart will heal and hold on to the happy memories and cherish the sad ones as they both bring great lessons. And for the tarot today, I use the mythic tarot. I used my own divine journey tarot and the universal Celtic tarot, guys. So I look forward to connecting with you next time. Love and blessings.